Today's apologists claim evolution is only a theory. Creationists commonly make the mistake of claiming evolution is only a theory that hasn't become a fact or a law yet, and thus is nothing more than speculation. Their mistake is to confuse scientific terminology with common layperson uses of the terms, so this should help clear it up. In science, a theory is a well-substantiated explanation of some aspect of the natural world, based on a body of facts that have been repeatedly confirmed through observation and experiment. Such fact-supported theories are not guesses, but reliable accounts of the real world. Thus, a theory in science is equivalent to what people commonly refer to as a fact. Some examples include general relativity, quantum mechanics, atomic theory, germ theory, plate tectonics, the Big Bang theory, and evolutionary theory. A hypothesis is a tentative explanation for an observation, phenomenon, or scientific problem that can be tested by further investigation. That is the closest scientific term to what people commonly mean when they use the term theory. There are countless hypotheses, but some examples include the many worlds hypothesis of quantum mechanics, the holographic principle, and the RNA world hypothesis of abiogenesis. A fact is an observation that has been confirmed repeatedly and is accepted as true, although its truth is never final. A theory never graduates to a fact, but is instead based on facts. Examples include fossils in undisturbed geological layers being ordered by lineage, all known life being based on DNA, the Earth and universe being billions of years old, and that species evolve. And a law is a statement based on repeated experiments or observations that describe or predict a range of natural phenomena. Laws are narrower in scope than scientific theories, which may entail one or several laws. So a law is not an explanation for a phenomenon, and no theory ever graduates to a law. Examples include universal gravitation, fluid dynamics, heat conduction, and the laws of thermodynamics. So to summarize, a hypothesis is a tentative explanation for a phenomenon, typically based on observed facts and laws, and a theory is a hypothesis or several hypotheses that have undergone extensive testing and are supported by a wide body of evidence. A theory is the highest level of certainty for an explanation in science, and evolutionary theory is the best scientific explanation for the observed phenomenon of evolution. Now, for a hypothesis or theory to be scientific, it must make testable predictions that could potentially prove the claim false. And the claim must be reproducible so that others can verify the results. Every genuine test of a theory is an attempt to prove it false, and the more falsifiable predictions a theory makes, the better. This is because if you have no way to potentially prove a claim false, you can never know if the claim is wrong. And since a theory is always subject to further discoveries of evidence, which could potentially prove it false, a theory is always considered provisional. That means evidence can never prove a theory true, only false. However, the more evidence that supports a theory, the more confidence we have that it is an accurate explanation for the phenomenon, and the more useful it is for making predictions about that phenomenon. Any theory that cannot be refuted by some conceivable evidence is not scientific, and irrefutability is not a virtue for any scientific theory. Evolutionary theory makes numerous falsifiable claims that were predicted well before the evidence for these claims was discovered, such as all life sharing the same basic architecture DNA, the existence of a mechanism that modifies that architecture mutation, transitional fossils, a multi-billion-year-old Earth, and more. Not only has the evidence not falsified any of these predictions, but it has only strongly supported the theory. That's exactly why the theory of evolution is a theory, 
and the most successful theory in biology, in fact. Young Earth creationism, on the other hand, arguably makes some falsifiable claims, like the universe being about 6,000 years old and that the entire world was flooded about 4,300 years ago. But those claims have been demonstrated to be false. Intelligent design, which is a rebranding of creationism to sound more scientific, doesn't actually make any falsifiable predictions at all, and thus is not even scientific. So when creationists claim evolution is only a theory, <laughs> they have no idea they've actually paid it the biggest compliment possible in science. <laughs>